amazing. You know, we just we just wrapped up a great right, fall season right. here. Uh, had a little turkey, played a little football, and then we turned right around. And 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 teams have been they've been going at it for several weeks now. And, right. Uh, you know, now they're they're looking at uh, really in the, they're starting the tune up time. They're starting to make sure that they get <laughs> things right with their team, and you know, getting in that tip top shape, and they're ready to 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 get into this tournament season in seven short weeks for some folks. I can tell you, last weekend on Indiana Sports Talk, uh, if uh, everyone understands, I feel feel like I have the the single best job in sports. I have the opportunity to talk about high school and college sports. But, Paul, most of the people I talked to, especially on the media side, all commented after games last weekend about the crowds and the size of the crowds. And I think we talked about Thanksgiving and being grateful for things. I truly think people, kids, moms, dads, fans, grandmothers, grandfathers, everybody's thankful to be able to go watch games right now. They are. And, you know, it's again, and people have, and we've talked about this a lot, but I think it's always something that we have to celebrate is people missed high school sports and being able to get back out. Uh, I was, was with some officials this last weekend in Northeast Indiana talking to them about, you know, just their experiences this year. And, and they were just excited about being in the gym. They loved the atmosphere, mm-hmm. the noise of the game. And uh, a couple of them even remarked that coach that was barking at them on the sideline <laughs> wasn't quite as loud this year. <laughs> that noise was drowned it out a little bit. Well, it's just, I think it's amazing the resiliency that the kids have. You know, they played hard all year long, crowd, no crowd. They're just going to, they're going to hoop. They're just going to do what they do, which is great. It's great to be a kid. But, you know, you and I have talked about this before. Most, we're fortunate. Most of the games we have scheduled have been played. And we have some occasional situations with COVID. But for the most part, games that are scheduled end up getting played. They do, and that's just a tribute back to our schools. Um, they do a phenomenal job of educating their kids, educating their communities, and people know what they need to do to be safe. And uh, and that's what folks are doing, and they just continue to play. And, you know, it's just such a great thing because every time a kid, every time a student athlete steps on a floor, steps in a practice gym, steps in a, or swims in a mm-hmm. pool, they're with great mentors. People are teaching them about life uh, in addition to, to learning how to swim or wrestle and you know they're just they're, it's it's a growth period for all of us we had it when we were in high school and these kids need to experience that same time in life to to develop them into great community contributors in the future he's paul Knighting. he's the commissioner of the ihsaa and paul as we mentioned you know, seven weeks away from tournaments and you and the staff are already feverishly starting to make plans and get venues ready and start to work on things before we know it we'll have the pairing shows for, for those sports and uh the other thing we always remind people get out people's five dollar admission tickets to games are what helps fund these endeavors for high school kids all around our state that's exactly right that ticket money counts most of our schools when it comes to uniforms and travel and equipment for the game those are all covered uh by the gate receipts they're not receiving tax dollars to to cover those incidentals that are around the participation and schools went through a period of time that it financially it was tough for them last year and they appreciate every time somebody comes in and and pays their five dollars to watch a game it goes back to the kids directly and allows them to play Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Neidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community.
Welcome to the Salem Lions News Network live stream in association with the IHSAA and brought to you by the generous grants from Ace Hardware of Salem, Hoosier Uplands, Links Clothing and Shoes, and the Washington County Community Foundation from the Brooks Memorial Stadium. This is the Washington County Community Foundation pregame show. The dynamic duo is back. I'm Maggie Gibson and my trusty color commentator, like normal, is the woman, the myth, the legend, Maria Cobb. Sydney is our camera woman tonight, and the OG legend of SLNN Holden with his understudies Brayden and Owen coming are coming to run the show. Thanks to everyone for setting this live stream up at a new location away from home, and our crack research team for breaking down the game for us. So this is a championship game between Border, the Borden Braves and the Eastern Musketeers. The Braves enter the contest with a 4-2 and two record, the 73-56 to 56 pounding West Washington last night. They are averaging 60 points per game and only giving up 52 points per game. They are coached by great, they are coached by coaching great Doc Nash, who has a 207 and 151 record in his 16th year at the school. They have an aggressive, hard-nosed defense and fast-paced, unselfish offense led by Jones and Nash. The Musketeers enter the contest with a 5-1 record with the most recent win against the Lions last night, 67-42. Their early loss was to the Warders in the pressure cooker in Scottsburg. They are averaging 63 points per game and only giving up 48 points per game. They are coached by Chandler Pribe, who has a 17-14 and 14 record in his 16th year at the school. There are two standout players of Kay Jones and Jacob Cherry will bring the fireworks for the Musketeers. This should be a good matchup between the two squads and they will have the up to the minute stats for you up to the, throughout the game. This has been the Washington County Community Foundation pregame show. Thanks again to our local businesses that gave us grants to bring that live action to you. Ace Hardware of Salem, Hoosier Uplands, Links Clothing and Shoes, and the Washington County Foundation. Let's rock and roll.
Welcome to the championship game of this um, Eastern Musketeers and the, the, the Board and Braves. Braves. Tip off is won by Eastern. Borden will get the ball though with 21 over to 11 with the three. It's a miss. Number 21, Nash has took the ball, misses the three. Took the ball off the court for the Musketeers. Passes it to 33. The 33 to 25. 25 to 23. And it traveled. It's been called on number 23. Number three, Carter will be, number 24, Jones will be taking the ball out and will pass it in to number three, Carter, taking it down the court for Borden. Number three, Carter has it at the top. Pass it over to 24. An attempted pass by Eastern, but it would not go through. Carter now has the ball at the wing with Jones at the top, kicks it over to Nash. Carter now has the ball at the top. He's over to 24, Jones with the three, and it's a miss. 25 to the ball at the court for the Eastern Musketeers. Passes to 33. 33 to 30. Oh, and it's a miss. Number three, Carter has the ball to get it down the court for the Borden. He will dribble down over to the court and look for a pass. We'll skip it over to 21, Nash. Passes it over to Sterling, over to Carter. Carter gives it down to 33, Ethan. A bad pass is made by Borden. 25 to the ball to court for the Eastern. For the Eastern. A pass is made to number 33. 33 to 23. In the 30 for a two-point shot. Yes, Number 24, Jones will has the ball and will pass it up to Nash. Over to Carter. Carter down to 33. Up to Sterling. 21 now has the ball. Nash kicks it over to Jones. Jones over to Carter. Carter looking for a pass and will kick it over to 11 Sterling. 21 had the ball, kicked it over to Sterling once again. Sterling goes in, loses the ball, but gets it back. Now Carter has the ball, throws it into 24 in the paint. He will miss the shot. It will be Eastern's ball.
54 to the ball for the Eastern Musketeers. Pass 25. 25 to take the ball to court. Pass 33. 33. Pass 54. 54 to 25. 25 to 33 for the three. It is no good. 24 will get the rebound and will take it down the court. Jones. Jones passes it over to the number four. 30. Five with a three, misses, gets it up, puts it back up, misses, 33, puts, gets the rebound and puts it up. 54 takes the ball off the Eastern. Pass to 25. 25 to 23. 23 for a layup. There's a foul. Foul called on number 33. Ethan Erton. That will be the first foul of the game. And his first shot will be good. Second shot is also good. 24 for the Braves. Jones will take it down the court. We'll pass it over to 35. Martin up to 24 once again. Carter will have the ball up to Jones. Jones looking for a pass. Jones will kick it out over to Carter. Back to Jones. Into four. Sh Sean. Blocked by number 30. Ball taken up the court by 33. A foul is called on number four, Sean Condon. That will be his first. Eastern's ball. 25 takes the ball for the Eastern. Pass it to 30. 30 for the shot. It's under there. 24 will get the rebound for the Braves. Kicks it over to three Carter. And the ball was attempted still, but it will be out on the Musketeers. Number 21, Nash will take the ball out and will pass it in to Jones. Over to Carter. Back to Jones. Over to Nash. Nash looks for a dribble. Kicks it up to Jones. Jones dumps it into four. Sean over to Carter. 24 with the shot. And it's good. Jones' his shot is good. 54 take it off for Eastern. Pass it to 25. Twenty-five at the top of the key. Pass the ball to twenty-three. Twenty-three for the three. It's a miss. Twenty-one will get the rebound. Nash and is taking it on the court. We'll kick it over to twenty-four. Jones. Jones up for the two, and it's good. Fifty-four takes the ball. Twenty-five. The ball will be out on Eastern. It is the Bo Borden's ball. Number four. Number three, Carter has the ball, kicks it over to Jones at the top. Over to 21, Nash. Back to Jones. Jones with the three, and it is good. 54 takes the ball for Eastern. Pass to 25. 25 to 33. 33 to 23, 23 for the three. It is no good. A foul has been called on number on number 30 for the Musketeers. It'll be Borden's ball. Nash will be taking the ball out and will pass it in to Jones. Jones taking the ball down. Jones kicks it over to Carter at the top. Carter passes it in to 11. Sterling. Sterling up for the two, and it's no good. 
30 gets the rebound for the Musketeers, past the 33, back to 23. 23 for the layup, but his... His shot is blocked by number 11. It is stolen away by number 33, Ethan. 24 taking the ball down, we'll kick it over to 33, Ethan. Ethan down in the corner, picks it up to 24, Jones. Dumps it into three, Carter. Over to 11, 11 will go for two, and it's good! Sterling with another point. And a timeout has been called. Right now, Eastern has the lead. It is four to 12. All right. We'll be back after this short commercial break. High school sports fans, welcome back to game time, to pure spirit. To pure sport. Welcome back to high school sports. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and I just want to say, welcome back. This is game time. This is Indiana high school sports. This is your IHSAA. too loud because my ears are hurting. <laughs> Coming back from the timeout, it will the ball will be in possession of Eastern. 24 will take the ball for Eastern. Pass 25. Twenty-five to twenty-four. Twenty-four to tw to thirty-three. Thirty-three to twenty-five. Back to thirty-three. Thirty-three to twenty-five. Meta thirty-three to thirty. Thirty to two. It's good. Number thirty-three. Ethan will hit the ball out and will pass it into twenty-four. Jones. Jones at the top of the key. We'll hand it off to 21, Nash, over to 11, Ma Sterling to 33. Back to Sterling on the wing. Sterling goes up for the two, and it's blocked by number 30, Eastern. Thir 33 to take the ball for Eastern, bring the ball off the court. 25. 25 to 24. A foul is called. And a foul. Foul has been called on number 11, Sterling. It was a push to the back. And number four, Sean will enter the game for him. Easter now has the ball with 25 in the corner. 25 hands it off to 24. 24 looking for the pass. We'll pass it in to 23. 23 kicks it over to 30. 30 into 33. And another foul has been called on Borden. The foul has been called on number 24, Jones. Right now, Borden has four fouls with Eastern only having one. 25 take the ball for Eastern. And attempted still in this. It is stolen away by number 21. Now she goes up for a layup, but it is no good. Wait, no, a foul has been called. Twenty-one Nash will go to the free throw line for the first time. And his first shot is no good. Number 35, Martin, has entered the game. And 21's second shot, Nash, with, is good. 24 take the ball for Eastern. Pass 25. 
We have ten, roughly 10 seconds left. And it's going to be Borden's ball out on Eastern. 10.2 seconds left in the game with Borden having 13 points and Eastern only having six. 24 enters the game for 23 for the Braves. Number four, Sean takes it out and will kick it in to Nash. Nash taking the ball down. Nash will go in, but the ball is thrown away. The last shot was no good. We'll be back after this short commercial break. Hi, I'm Matt Wolford, president of the IHSAA Foundation, and we need your help. We need your help so the youth of our community can develop advanced leadership skills. We need your help giving high school administrators and coaches the instruction and insight they need to be better role models and teachers. To learn more or to make a tax-deductible contribution, go to IHSAAFoundation.org. You'll not only be contributing to the foundation of the IHSAA, you'll be contributing to the foundation of our community. Margaret. Second half, second quarter of the game. Eastern's ball, 24, take it out for Eastern, pass to 25. 25, pass to 24. 24 to 30. 30 to 25. 25 to 3. It is good. Number four will take the ball out for Borden. We'll kick it in to Jones. Jones passes it over to Sean. Sean down to 32, over to four. Sean again. Sean kicks it over to 24. Jones. Jones up to Nash, over to Martin. Back up to Jones. Jones will drive in, but will come back out and kick it over to Martin. Martin over to Jones. Up to Ethan over to Jones again. Jones will go for the two and it's good. 24 take the ball for Eastern, pass to 25. 25 to 23, 23 to 30 at the post. It is good. Number four, Sean will take the ball out and will kick it into Jones. 24 over to Sean to Martin over to Ethan to Jones Jones over to Nash Jones for the three and it's good 24 take the ball for Eastern 24 to 25 25 to 33 33 to 25 25 past 33. And a bad pass has been made. It will be Borden's ball. Jones has the ball, taking it down the court. Passes it over to Carter. Over to Ethan. Ethan passes it back to Carter at the top. Carter will drive in for the layup and misses, but number four, Sean will get the rebound, loses the ball, and it will be, and a foul has been called. Foul is on Eastern number 24. Jones will take the ball out for Borden. Number 11 has entered the game. Sterling. Jones will pass it in to Nash and kick it up to Sean. Sean gives it over to Jones and a foul is called. Eastern, 
Another foul called on number 24. Jones will pass the ball in to Nash. Nash will kick it up to Sean. Sean looking for a pass and will pass it up to Carter. Carter over to Jones at the top. Jones into Sean. Sean at the top of the key. Sean will go down and will go up for a two, and it's good. The score is 11 to 20 with Borden with the lead. 25 take the ball up for Easter. 25 to 33, 33 to 24, 24 to 33. 25 with a three-point shot, and it's good. And a timeout called by Easton. We'll be back. We'll be back after this short commercial break. I don't think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> the ball and we'll kick it over to number 24 Jones who will pass it into 11 Sterling over to Sean Sean will go for the and a travel is called on him it will be Eastern's ball 21 will take the ball for Eastern Jones will enter the game in for Sean 21 to 25 25 to 30. 30, 21, 21 to 25. 25 to 30. 30 in for a layup, and it's good. And a foul is called on number 33, Ethan Erton. That is his second foul of the game. His first is good. His only is good. 33 to take the ball for Border. That's 24. Jones has the ball, taking it down. We'll kick it over to Carter. Carter passes it down to Ethan. Carter has the ball once again, kicks it over to Sterling, back to Carter. Carter, and a and number 25 has kicked the ball. It'll be Borden's ball. Okay. I can't hear Maggie, like, at all. Like, we need to turn her up. Number 24, Jones has the ball. 24 kicks it over to Carter. Carter up to Martin. Martin with the three, and it's no good. Ethan will get the rebound, though. Ethan will go in, but kick it out to Carter. Carter will go in and kicks it out to Sterling. Sterling will miss the three, but will get his own rebound. It will pass it into Carter. Carter will kick it out. An attempted steal by Eastern, but it will be no good. It's out of bounds. It will be Borden's ball. Twenty-four will take the ball out and we'll kick it in to Sterling. A bad pass by number number three, Carter. Twenty-five gets a steal. Passes it. A 
foul is called on number three for Norton. Foul is called on number three, Carter. It'll be Eastern's ball. Twenty-five will take the ball for Eastern. Pass twenty-three. Thirty-three. And for the layup, the layup is good. Oh no. He gets fouled on the shot. A foul. Another foul has been called on number three, Mason Call. Shot is good. 24 Jones will be taking it down for Borden. 24 will hand it off to 11 Sterling up to Martin. Over to Ethan up to Martin once again. Martin goes in for the drive and it is good. Sterling will get the rebound. Now with Jones at the ball. Kicks it over to Sterling. Over to Martin in the corner for the three, and it's good. The Braves are ahead by just five points. 25 to the ball off Eastern. 25 to 21. 21 to 23, and it's good. Jones now has the ball, taking it down the court. Okay. Sterling kicked the ball over to Ethan. Back to Sterling. Sterling up for the two and it's no good. So 23 will get the rebound for Eastern, pass it to 30, 25. 25 to 21. 21 to 33. 33 to 21. 21. Oh. Foul is called on red 33. Gordon 33. Twenty three will take the shot. Twenty-three shoots. His first is good. His second is also good. Jones taking it down the court again, and he passes it over to Carter. Carter passes it in to Sean over to Carter. Carter with the fake shot goes up, kicks it over to Jones, and a foul has been called. The foul is called on number 21. Branson White. Or Sean will go to the re will go to the free throw. And his first shot's no good. His second shot is no good either. 25 to take the ball at the court for Eastern. Pass 23, back to 25. 25 with shot, no good. Jones will get the rebound, we'll kick it up to, oh, but it's stolen away by number 25, Eastern. Another oh. steal by Jones, 24, and a foul has been called.
The foul has been called on number 25. Number 25, it will be Braves ball. With Jones taking it down once again. Jones goes up for the three, and it's a miss. Number four, but he gets his own rebound and will kick it down to Carter. Carter over to 35, and 35 will get Martin takes will get the point. Eastern has 25. Borden with the lead of just three points with less than with roughly 40 seconds left in this quarter. 21 past 33. 33 to the top of the key. Passes it to. Look, oh, it is not pass. 33 to 25. Oh, but it is out of bounds. And a bad pass has been made. It will be. Ball. It will be Borden's ball. Number four, Shaw will take it out and will pass it into Carter. Carter taking it down with 20 seconds left in this quarter. Carter looking to go. Almost loses the ball. And will go up for a layup, but it's blocked away by number 21. 33 will get the rebound for Eastern. And for the layup, it is good. Ah, we almost had. We will be, we will be back after these short commercials. You're good at basement basketball. We're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau. You're good at making big announcements. We're having a go! <laughs> We're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance. Online, over the phone, or in person. And stop knocking on wood. You're good at keeping the car clean. We're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance. Online, over the phone, or in person. And stop knocking on wood. Welcome to the Washington County Half Game Report. Halftime half Report. Right now, the Borden has the lead with just one point, 27 to 26. We have a few key things that we would like to point out this game. Number one is number 23 for the Eastern Mus Musketeers has nine points. Jacob Cherry has six, and Evan has five. Another thing that to point out is that um, for number 24 Jones for uh, the Braves has the most points with 13 and 
I feel like him personally, he is just putting a lot of effort into this game, and it's really showing. He is three for five for the threes, two for three for the twos. He's just doing overall just very, very well. Um, for Eastern, um, Cherry is three for five overall to two, which I feel like this next half he'll be putting up some more points. Just seeing him in the last few games, he's just dominant down at the block. And a few good words from the Washington County Community Foundation. Um, you can triple the the impact of your gift, create your legacy, future generosity with love. You for it. We can triple the impact of your gift, create your legacy, future generations will love you for it. You do not have to be rich to give through the foundation. Get back to our community through the Washington County Community Foundation. You can make a difference. We can help. You can make our county better by giving through the Washington County Foundation. Thank you for those few words. That has been the Washington County Community Foundation Halftime Report. We'll be see you back.
Back to Carter on the wing. Carter over to Nat. Nash with the three, and it's a miss. But Sean will get the rebound. Carter has the ball once again. Up to Sterling, over to number 11. Sterling will have the ball, will kick it out to Jones. Jones almost loses the ball, and it will go to Nash. Back to Carter. Up to Sean, over to Sterling. Sterling kicks it over to Carter. Back to Sterling, over to Jones. And a foul has been called. Foul's called on number 33 for uh, Eastern. Jones will take the ball out for Borden and will kick it into 21. Over to Carter on the wing. Over to 11, Sterling, and a stolen pass by 30. 30 will take it in, pass it to 23, 23 for a layup. And it is blocked by number four, Sean. <laughs> 25 will take it out for Eastern. 25 takes it out, 25 passes it to 24. Three with the attempted steal. To, 20, to 33. 33 to 30. 30 to 33. For the shot, it's a miss. Number 11, Sterling will take, has the ball, kick it over to Jones. Jones over to Carter, up to Nash with the three, and it's good! 25 will take the ball for Eastern. Pass to 24. 24 in the wing, pass to 30 in the block. Back to up to 24 at the wing, and it's a make. Three points, Eastern. Sean takes the ball out, puts it into Jones. Jones hands it off to Carter. Carter at the top, passes it over to Sterling. Down. Oh, now Sterling has the ball. Up to Nash. Nash kicks it out to Sterling, over to Carter. Carter passes it in to Sean. Sean up to Carter to three. Carter will go in, but will kick it out to, Ster to Sterling. Sterling with the three, and it's a miss. 33 of the rebound, pass 25. 25 takes the ball to court. Almost a back tip by number 11, but he manages to get it back. 11 blocks, number 30 shot. It will kick it out to number four, Sean, but a stolen back. 30, Eastern. 33 on Eastern almost gets a steal. But it is. Step, number 33 steps out of bounds for Eastern. It will be Borden's ball. Sean taking it out for them. Passes it in to 24. Jones taking it down the court for Borden. Borden will go down and will kick it up to Carter. Carter at the top of the key, kicks it over to Sterling. Sterling looking for a shot, goes up, but it's blocked by number 30. Will get his own rebound and put it back up for two. 23 to take the ball up, out for, say, for Eastern, pass to 25. 25 to 33. 33 to 24, 24 to 23. 33 the layup and it's good. Oh. Nope, and a charge is called on number 23 for Eastern. Number 4, Sean Condom will take it out. And will kick it in to Mason Jones. Jones taking it down the court. And will hand it off to Nash. Sterling now has the ball, kicks it over to Carter. 
Cardinal dribbles up to the top, will go in, will kick it out to four. Sean, over to Sterling, over. Oh no, Sterling has the ball now. We'll kick it up to Nash. Nash will go in. We'll go for the two, but a foul is called. Two shots. Nash will go to the free throw line. His first shot is good. Having now Borden with the lead with 33 and Eastern with 29 points in the third half. And his second shot will go up and it is also good. 24 take the ball for Eastern, pass 25. 25 to the ball, pass 24, 24. <coughs> A foul has been called. For number 11, on Gordon. <laughs> 25 to the ball for Eastern. Passes it to 23, 23 with the three, it's no good. 21 will get the rebound. Nash will get the rebound for them. We'll kick it up to Carter. Carter over to 11 in the corner. 11 with the three. three Sterling three. with the three, and it is good. 33 takes the ball out for Eastern. Pass to 25. 25 to 33. 33 to 30. Oh, it is, and it is stolen, stolen by Jones, and Jones will kick it out to Sterling. Jones now has the ball once again. Kicks it out to Nash. Jones, wait. Number 11, Sterling has the ball. Kicks it over to Nash. Nash at the top. Gives it back over to Sterling. Sterling will hand it off to Jones. Jones skips it over to Carter. Over down to Nash. Nash for the three and a foul has been called. On number 30, Joe Cherry for Eastern. 24 onto the game for Eastern. Number 21, Nash will take the ball out for Borden. And he'll throw it into Jones. Jones kicks it over to Sean. Nash now has the ball at the top of the key. Kicks it over to Carter. Carter in to... Sean, Sean will go in, but we'll kick it back out to Nash, over to Carter, over to Sterling in the corner for a three, but it's no good. 30 will get the rebound for Eastern, pass to 25, 20, to 21, oh, another charge call and on another number 21, his second charge of the game. A timeout has been called. We will be back after this short commercial break. You're good at making big announcements. We're having a go! <laughs> We're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance. Online, over the phone, or in person. And stop knocking on wood. Number 11, Sterling has the ball for the Braves. He's taking it down. Pass it over to 21, Nash. Over to Jones. Jones will post up, go for a two, and it's good! They have now have 39 points, 
29, 10 point lead. 21 take the ball for Eastern, passes 25. 25 takes the ball off the court, passes back to 21. Back to 23 to 30 with the layup. Jones has the ball, taking it down the court. Jones passes it up to Carter. Over to Sterling. Sterling up to Carter. Carter goes in, will kick it out to Nash. Over to Sterling once again. Nash will have it, kicks it over to Carter. Carter up to Sean. Jones up for the three, and it's a miss. 23 will get the rebound for Eastern. Passes to 25. 25 takes the ball up the court. Dribbles in. Goes up for a layup. It's no good, but is a foul is called. Foul is called on number 21. Nash. Foul's on number 21, Jason Nash. His first team second. That is his first foul. Number 25, Caden Temple, number one, shooting two. His first shot is good. His second shot is also good. Number three, Mason Carter will take the ball down for the Braves. Oh, looking for a pass. Five seconds is called on him. It will be Eastern ball. Jones has entered the game in for the Braves. 21 will take the ball for Eastern. Passes it to 25. 25 back to 21. 21 to 23. 23 will drive. No, no good on the layup. Jones will get the rebound and is taking it down the court. He'll kick it over to number 21, Nash. I believe it, a travel. I believe a travel just happened there. Yeah, but I think a travel was called. 21, take the ball in for Eastern. Passes it to 25. Back to 21. To 54 in the post. He makes a move. No good. 35, Cruz with Martin. Cruz Martin will get the ball. Kick it out to number 21, Nash. Nash at the top. 40 seconds left in this half. We'll kick it over to Sterling. Sterling will pass it down to 33. Ethan Erton. 33 starts his dribble. It will go down for the layup, and it's good. 21 will take the ball for Eastern. Pass it into 25. 25 at the top of the key. Key passes it to 23. 23 drives in for a layup, and it's good. Two Scores. seconds left. Scores 21 30. will put the uh, shot up, uh, and it's uh, no good. It's no Scores good. Scores 35-41. Borden. Becoming a licensed sports official is a great way to make a positive difference in the community and support the over 160,000 Indiana student-athletes that participate across 22 IHSAA sports. Sports officiating allows you to stay connected to the game, become a role model for our young student athletes, earn extra money, and support the patrons and communities of our IHSAA member schools. To learn more about becoming a licensed IHSAA official, log on to IHSAA.org slash officials today. Becoming a licensed sports official is a great Indiana. way to make Let's clear the air about vaping. Glue, rat poison, paint. We all know these products contain poisons like formaldehyde, arsenic, and lead. And these are just a few of the chemicals you'll find in e-cigarette vapor. Let's clear the air, Indiana. Don't puff this stuff. Visit don'tpuffthisstuff.com to join the fight and spread the word.
21 would take the ball out for Eastern. We are in the fourth quarter of the final game. 25 has the ball at the top of the key. He drives in for a layup and it's good. Jones will take the ball down. And will kick it up to 35 Martin. Back to Jones at the top. Jones kicks it over to Martin once again. Martin will back and will kick it up to Jones. Jones hands it over to 11. A bad pass is made. And over and back is called on number 24, Jones. We need to choose it right now. Uh, 35, 25 takes the ball out for Eastern. Passes it to 30, 30 at the top of the key. Handoff is made to 23. 23 drives in for a layup and it's good. Jones. Jones will take the ball on the court. Jones has the ball at the top. He'll pass it over to number 11. Over to 35. Gives it into 30. 3. 33 will kick it back out to 35. 35 kicks it over to 21. Over back to Jones. 24. We'll kick it back out to 35. 35 for the three, and it's a miss. Easter will get the rebound, number 25. We'll throw it down to 33. 33 looks for the pass, kicks it up to 25. 25 hands it to 23. 23 looks for the pass, and we'll hands it into 30. 30 kicks it into 21. 21 with the layup, and it's good. A timeout has been called by Borden. We'll be back at the V Short Commercials. It's 2 p.m. Saturday afternoon. You have two choices. Option one, take two nanoseconds to reach over and put on your seatbelt. Or option two, decide it's too much work for a Saturday and don't put on your seatbelt. As the seatbelt alarm continues to sing the song of its people, you roll your eyes. You're just going down the block, you'll be fine. You take a turn to the left and that's when you see it. Just wear your seatbelt. It's an easy way to save your own life. The Indiana Criminal Justice Institute wants to remind you that choices matter. Click it to live it. Four takes the ball up for Borden. Jones has the ball at the top, kicks it over to 21. Nash up to 33. Ethan, Ethan looking for a pass, will kick it out to Sterling. Sterling at the top of the key, Drew Ribbling. He'll hand it off to 21. Nash over to Carter at the top, into 33. 33 looks for the pass to Carter. Carter will have it on the wing and will kick it over to 11. 11 with the fake shot, it will come back out. Kicks it up to Carter. The 21, Nash looking for a pass. We kick it back up to Carter at the top. Carter kicks it over to Nash once again. Nash on the wing, dribbling up. Pass it over to Carter at the top. Carter goes over. Carter looking for something to do. We'll kick it over to Nash. Nash kicks it to Jones. Jones will lose the ball. 21 would get the steal for Eastern. A foul is called. Foul is called on number three, Mason Carter. Foul on Borden, number three, Mason Carter. That's his third team steal. <laughs> number 21 brings on the line on June two. His first shot is good. Score is 42-41 Eastern. Second shot, also good. Jones will take the ball on the court for Borden. Picks 
it over to Carter down in the corner. And the ball is tipped out by number 30. It will be Borden's ball. Nash will take the ball out and will kick it into Jones. Jones kicks it up to Carter. Carter hands it off to Nash. Nash kicks it over to Sterling. Sterling up with the reverse layup and it's good. 25 to take the ball off the court for Eastern. 25. Calling out a play. He passes it 23. 23 to 33. 33 goes, drives in. And it is good for a two point shot. Scores 45 43. Jones Eastern takes Musketeers. the ball. Oh, 11 goes up for a three, and it's good. Sterling's shot is good. 25 takes the ball down the court for Eastern. We'll pass it to 21. 21 to 33. Oh, and there's a foul called on number. 24 on board. It will be Eastern's ball coming out. There's 4 minutes and 22 seconds to play in the fourth quarter. <laughs> 25 will take the ball on the court. Twenty-five will drive. It is good. Shot is good for two. Foul is called on number three, Mason Carter. That is his fourth foul of the game. Twenty-five will see the free throw line. His shot's good. There's an and one for number twenty-five. 24, take the ball up. Taking it down the court now. He will pass it. He will hand it off to 21. Nash over to Sterling. Back up to 33. Ethan up to Sterling once again. Up to Carter. Over to Nash. To Carter. To Martin. Nope. Ethan. Over to 11, Sterling shot, and his shot is good, another three. 21 takes it off for Eastern, passes it to 25. 25 drives in for a layup, and it's no good. 33, 33 will get the rebound, he goes back up for a shot. He gets fouled, he goes for free throw for two. Fouls on number 24, Mason Jones, that's his third, team six. I don't... Number 30, take a cherry man to line, shooting two. No. The first shot is no good. His second shot is good. Jones will take the ball down. Timeout has been called by board, and we'll be back after this short commercial. It's 2 p.m. Saturday afternoon. You have two choices. This is your IHSAA. This is your state. This is your high school. This is your athletic association. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and we're here to make sure that all of this remains yours this is your state this is your community this is your ihsaa high school sports fans welcome back to game time to pure spirits to pure sports welcome back to high school sports fans i'm ihsa commissioner paul knighty and I just want to say, welcome back. This is game time. This is Indiana High School Sports. This is your IHSAA.
Oh. It would be Borden's ball with Jones taking it out. Jones kicks it into Carter. Carter drives down, kicks it over to 21. Nash up to Carter once again. Over to Sterling. Sterling will drive in but loses the ball. It will be Eastern's ball. It's a tied game with only three minutes and one second left to go. Twenty-five will take the ball up the court for Eastern. Passes it in. Passes in 20, 33. 33 drives. Oh, and, and there's a, a foul called. Another goes foul is called on number 24. Goes to the line for two. That will be 24's fourth foul of the night. Score is all tied up. 49. Both sides. 33 free throws. His first is good. Free throws are really the the difference of a ball game. I 100% agree with that. 33 shoots the second and it's good. Jones taking it down the court for the Braves. He will hand it off to Sterling, over to Carter, up to Nash. Nash kicks it up to Carter at the three. Carter will go in and will kick it up to Jones. Jones kicks it over to Nash, over to Sterling. Up to Ethan, up to, Ster up to Sterling, back to Nash. Nash will hand it off to Jones. Jones now at the top of the key. Jones kicks it over to Carter, down the corner. Carter dribbles, I'm looking for a pass, passes it down to Ethan. Ethan now in the corner, dribbles up to the top. <laughs> 33, hands it off to 11, Sterling, Sterling now holding the ball. Keeps it up to Nash. A timeout has been called by Borden. We'll be back after this short commercial. I don't think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> Bling will take the ball out. Kick it into Carter, number three. Carter at the top. Pass it over to Nash, over to Sterling. Sterling up for the two. It's and good. it's good. 33 takes the ball for Eastern. Passes it to 25. 25 takes the ball up the court. Passes it to 33. 33 will pass it into 23. 23 at the cut, top of the key. Passes it to 25. And a timeout is called by Eastern. Eastern. We'll be back after this short commercial. Okay. Hey Indiana, let's clear the air about vaping. Glue, rat poison, paint. We all know these products contain poisons like formaldehyde, arsenic, and lead. And these are just a few of the chemicals you'll find in e-cigarette vapor. Let's clear the air, Indiana. Don't puff this stuff. Visit don'tpuffthisstuff.com to join the fight and spread the word. High school sports fans, welcome back to game time, to pure spirits, to pure sports. Welcome back to high school sports. 
fans. I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and I just want to say, welcome back. This is game time. This is Indiana High School Sports. This is your IHSAA. And we're back in the 1 minute and 15, 19 seconds to go in the fourth quarter of the it, Borden Eastern game. It is currently tied 51 to 51. Eastern will take the ball out. Number 33 for Eastern. Passes it into 30, 30 to 25. 25, almost half court. He'll pass it to 23. 23. 3 to 21, 21 to 25, 25 to 23, 23 to 30, 30 to 23, to 25, to 20, 21. <laughs> There's an assistant um, pass by Borden, but this is no good. 30, pass to 25, 25 to 33. 23 drives, kicks it back out to 25 at the wing. Passes it to 21, 21 to 33. Timeout called by Eastern. Timeout. After a short commercial break. You're good at Basement Basketball. We're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, online, over the phone, or in person, and stop knocking on wood. You're good at making big announcements. We're having a go! <laughs> We're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance. Online, over the phone, or in person. And stop knocking on wood. And we are back, 21 seconds, point eight. We 51 have, to 51, still tied. We have number 33 taking it out of bounds for, for Eastern. He will drive. No, he won't actually, he will stay right there. 10 seconds left. He, he will pass to number 33 at the wing, back into 30 at the, at the block. Oh, he will get the rebound. And they'll go for the three, and We're it's a miss. Going into it's overtime. overtime. Overtime, 51 to 51. We will be back after these short commercials. You're good at keeping the car clean. Go to your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance. Online, over the phone, or in person. And stop knocking on wood. This is your IHSAA. This is your state. This is your high school. This is your athletic association. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and we're here to make sure that all of this remains yours. This is your state. This is your community. This is your IHSAA. That was me. 
Okay, for the tip off, four minutes over time. 51 oh. to 51. We are tipping off for overtime. Looks like, oh, oh, oh. and oh, literally no good. nobody it's won. No good, no good there. Oh, the retip. Nobody won tip off. We're re tipping off. Seems to be some talking on the court, and the ball is up. Eastern will get the tip. 23 has the ball. Waiting for the pressure to come off. He passes it to 25. 25 to 33. 33 to 21. 21 to 30. 23. Passes it to 30. Jones taking it down for the Braves. He'll hand it off to 35. Martin over to 21. Nash. Sterling now has the ball. Kicks it up to Nash. Nash drives in. Kicks it over to Sterling. Sterling with the three. And it's a miss. 33 at the rebound for Eastern. Passes it to 25. 25 to 21. 21 back to 25 for 33. 25 would 20. 35 gets the rebound. Kicks it out to Jones but loses it. Jones now has the ball again. Jones taking it down. He's looking for someone to do. He will hand it off to 21, Nash. Nash at the top. Nash throws it over to Sterling. Sterling back up to Nash on the wing. Nash dribbles up. Nash will go in, will kick out to Sterling. Back up to Nash. Nash will go. Dribbles back out to the top. Nash will go up for the three, and it's no good. But Borden will get the rebound. Sterling will get it. Jones with the fake shot, and a foul has been called. It will be Borden's ball. Fouls on Eastern, number 33. Nancy Edelman's his third, team six. Jones now has the ball. Two minutes to go in overtime. Martina, Martin has the top, kicks it over to 30. Oh, Martin now has the ball. Martin regains the ball after losing it, and a foul is called on number 21, Eastern. Like It'll be boarding the ball. Eastern, that's his third, team seven. Look. Five. Martin will go to the free throw line. We are in bonus as well. Bonus both sides. And his first shot is up and it is good. Bo East Eastern has 53 with Borden with 52. With a minute and 58 seconds left. And his second shot is also good, tying up the game, and we have a timeout call. We will be back after these short commercial breaks. You're good at keeping the car clean. Good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance online, over the phone, or in person, and stop knocking on wood.
A minute and 58 seconds tied. 53 to 53. Eastern has the ball. 25 will take it. A core pass to 23. There is a full court press going on. Pass to 33. Pass to 23. 23 to 25. To 20 to 33. 33 to 23. Passes it to 21 at the three ball. He drives in for a layup. It's good. A minute 26 seconds left. Jones taking it down the ball for the Braves. Kicks it over to number 21, over to Sterling. Back to Nash. Nash over to Carter. Carter drives to the top. Looking for a pass. Passes it to Nash. Nash kicks it over to Jones. Jones now in the corner. A minute left in the game. 55 to 53. Jones looks to drives but doesn't. Kicks it out to Carter. Now has the ball at the top of the key. Jones now has the ball. Carter does. Kicks it over to Nash. Nash up for the two. And it's good. And it's another tied game with 40 seconds left. 25 will take the ball up for Eastern. All tied up, 55 to 55. 20 seconds left in Passes the game. Passes it down to 30, 30 to 33. Back to 25. We're down to 10 seconds now. 33. And Eastern makes the layup. Timeout has been called. On Gordon. Score is 57-55. We'll be back with these short commercial break. Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. Hey, Indiana. Let's clear the air about vaping. Glue, rat poison, paint. We all know these products contain poisons, like formaldehyde, arsenic, and lead. And these are just a few of the chemicals you'll find in e-cigarette vapor. Let's clear the air, Indiana. Don't puff this stuff. Visit don'tpuffthisstuff.com to join the fight and spread the word. And we're back with five seconds left to go in overtime. 52 to 55, Eastern with the lead. 57 to 55, 57. Eastern with the lead. Kicks it in, Jones, 11, 11 with the three and it's a miss. One second left in the game. And a timeout has been called. We'll be back after this short commercial break. High school sports fans, welcome back to game time, to pure spirit, to pure sport. Welcome back to high school sports. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and I just want to say, welcome back. This is game time. This is Indiana high school sports. This is your IHSAA. It's 2 p.m. Saturday afternoon. You have two choices. Option one, take two nanoseconds to reach over and put on your seatbelt. Or option two, decide it's too much work for a Saturday and don't put on your seatbelt. As the seatbelt alarm continues to sing the song of its people, you roll your eyes. You're just going down the block, you'll be fine. You take a turn to the left and that's when you see it. 
Just wear your seatbelt. It's an easy way to save your own life. The Indiana Criminal Justice Institute wants to remind you that choices matter. Click it to live it. One second left to go in overtime of the Eastern and Borden Championship of the Holiday Tournament. Borden will be taking the ball out. Three. Passes in to 21. 21 with the three. It's no good. Eastern has won the game. I repeat, Eastern has won. 57 to 55 in the overtime. Easterns are the champions of the Holiday Tournament. That has been such a good game. Fun to watch. We will be back with a post-game report after these few commercials. You're good at basement basketball. We're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, online, over the phone, or in person, and stop knocking on wood. Welcome to the post Washington County Found Foundation post game report. What a game. In overtime, the score was 55-57. Really nice game out of both these teams. 
you could see the effort that each team has put in. A few, a few things we would like to point out is that for uh, Borden, their top two scorers were number 11 and number 24. They had seven. Level 11 had 17 and Jones had 15. Those were the, those were some key pointers to point out. They were very consistent throughout the game with their shots. Um, for a three-way tie for 13 shots were number 23, K. Jones, number 25, Temple, and number 30, Cherry. They each had 13 points in this game, which definitely added up in the end. Out of rebounds are also something we need to point out. Uh, they were, you know, usually rebounds are a very big um, game winner in situations, but in this game it was only 15 to 14. Eastern out rebounded, out rebounded Borden by one, which really shows by the score. That has been the community, Washington County Community Foundation post game report. Thank you for watching.